CMS leaders could finally change the name of Vance High School. It currently honors a former slave owner and Confederate soldier. Wake up Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw joining us live. So Billie Jean leaders are considering three options for the school's <coughs> new name. And we teased it about, I don't know, a couple minutes ago that there's one name that is a runaway favorite. Good morning, Carolyn. You know, one of the names that CMS is considering renaming Vance High School is after a prominent civil rights leader, which is a stark difference from the current namesake, a former slave owner. At tonight's CMS board meeting, members will finally complete a four months long process of renaming Vance High School. The school was named after Zebulon B. Vance, a former governor, senator, and Confederate soldier who owned slaves. The board settled on three options for the school's new name, University City High School, Queen City High School, or Julius L. Chambers High. Julius Chambers was a prominent civil rights leader and lawyer. In 1971, he won a Supreme Court ruling which desegregated buses in CMS, later helping to integrate schools. CMS has nearly 1,200 community members and 500 students were surveyed about those three names. Uh, as far as renaming the school after Chambers, that received the most votes from the community members, but not students. So the top staff is supposed to bring uh, the board a proposal tonight, and the board will have the final vote tonight at 6. Of course, we will keep you updated on the outcome. Reporting live from Northeast Charlotte, Billy James Shaw, Wake Up Charlotte. I mean, Chambers High School, that has a, a very, very nice ring to it. It does. It does, but listen, I think let the students decide. Okay. All right, Billy Jean, thank you for it.